Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 1st, and today was a rather odd weather day, just had some nice thunderstorms, some crazy rain come through overnight, um, actually early morning I guess when it finally hit, um, nothing really major, just kind of just, I don't know, it happens, and it really never warmed up per se after that, it was so humid, like I've got the weirdest thing is nothing dried out like it stopped raining i don't know one two o'clock something like that probably when it stopped and just like everything is still wet and damp it did not dry off at all it's going on midnight and it's still just gross out there um have the windows open the um, fan on and that blowing through and i've got some like my just like my i guess running gear the sweat net from that from the run at like three four o'clock today it's still not dry which is ridiculous usually within an hour or so it's dried out like, really good i can put some of the stuff away in that and you know get in a clothes basket to wash and this stuff is still like just gross to the touch and it's i don't know driving me nuts so other thing is i hopped in the car today to um, go out and grab some stuff i needed to assist while i was doing some plumbing work and front seat was soaking wet and i was like what the hell's going on here so windows were up they were down a little bit i got the wind vent window vents on it and i still have my kayaks in the car which ironically i just was hoping to go back out again here real soon and feel like taking them off and what was going on is the water was running down the rainwater down the straps that go into the doorway and it was dripping on my seat so i was like wow that was cool i've never had them on top of the car i guess in a rainstorm and that's what was causing it so i ended up with a wet ass which Again, it wasn't that big a deal except the fact that like it never dried out all day because it's just so darn humid. Um, finally went ahead and um, got back home. I kept working on a bunch of the plumbing stuff I had to do. One of the major things I've done today is I decided to install a new dishwasher, which wasn't really a big deal. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. Um, something I'd never done before. I didn't know how it was going to go. It surprisingly went better than I thought it was going to, so it wasn't too bad. But just that hole kept putting it off, kept putting it off. Finally decided it was time to get it taken care of. So it's all wrapped up and it's all done. I did run a um, test run through it. Seems to be leak proof and, or leak free so far, I guess. Not leak proof, maybe a leak later, who knows. And it seems to be working pretty good. The only thing I have against it compared to the one I took out was the one I took out had a lot more insulation around it and was a much, much quieter dishwasher. This thing is surprisingly loud, like scary loud. I don't know if that is a good thing, I mean the fact that it's actually got a lot more power washing or if it's just the fact that it's just a thinner walled stuff now than what the old one was. I know it's definitely a, um, uh, I think it's Whirlpool, man, I don't know, whatever the hell. It's a nice one at the time when I bought it. It was the best, all the ratings and stuff I could get. I did a bunch of research on it and without jumping up like 400 bucks more, which I was not going to throw up much into a damn dishwasher, it was the best one on the market for the ratings. So. It was. I'm happy with it so far. I only ran a small load of stuff I had in. I was mostly run it just as like a test cycle, and also to kind of just, I don't know, see how loud it was, make sure it all works, make sure I know how to use it, and all the good things. It's really kind of a weird little push button programmable. You can set it to wash at certain times and so on and so forth. And I guess it's that way since it is setting noise, you can set it up when you're at work or whatever out of the house. It's kind of a cool little thing, and. I'll have to figure the rest of it out. I didn't really get too into it today, but I got it done. So I also went for my run uh, with it running earlier today. I probably should have went and ran and then came home and put the uh, did a little plumbing work because I love running in the rain. I really do, but I didn't. I wanted to get my plumbing stuff done. Didn't know how long it was going to take. In case I needed supplies, the hardware store and that, which I did have to go get, which I found out the car seat was wet. Um, went ahead and glad I got that done. Went for my run. Um, went pretty well. Just nothing great. Um, nothing. Un unexpected I guess in the run all worked out well so got back here um, got cleaned up going ahead and cook myself a nice big old round steak and some beef bacon which is something I tried bought from the store not long ago and it's kind of odd it's like in pieces and stuff so some big chunks and some small chunks and it's I don't know it's different I'm not really sure if I'm a giant fan of it yet or not but it is what it is and we'll go from there as I keep cooking it I'm mostly kind of using it as Something to cook down to get the grease and the fat off of, then to cook my steaks and that kind of thing in it so far. So it's really kind of like tough. It's not soft like pork bacon that just, you know, easy to eat. So it might be because I'm getting the weird chunks or it might be because of the fact that I guess beef bacon's chewier. So not a giant fan of that. Um, probably will not be buying another box of that. Once this is gone, I'll be happy to see it gone. So 
other than that, um, same old stuff happening. The only real, I guess, odd thing is I had a friend of mine that I'd been talking to for a while on that, that kind of helping out with their issues and their problems and kind of reached out in the process of, you know, basically letting them know the fact that I had some oddball crap going on in my life and just some, I don't know, life decisions like that I was wanting to kind of discuss and talk over with them. And they kind of blew me off in that. So it was always kind of a good feeling to know you've been there for somebody for a long time and then when you reach out to them for a situation, they blow you off and basically tell you to go fuck yourself. So... Definitely a fun feeling there. So other than that, nothing major going on. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.